What's up digital marketing agency owners? On today's video, I wanna talk about EOS, the Entrepreneur Operating System, and specifically scorecards and the key metrics you wanna track within each of the different aspects of your business so that you can scale and have great, great growth within your business. So if that sounds good to you, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. On today's video, again, I wanna talk about EOS and really like what it takes to grow and scale your digital marketing agency to seven figures, multiple seven figures, and beyond. Because as you grow, right, you get good at landing clients and then you get good at delivering results and you get good at retention, eventually you're gonna to need to build a team, right? You're gonna to need to build communication rhythms and you're gonna to need to remove yourself from the day-to-day -day within the business. Otherwise, you're gonna get bottlenecked. You're gonna get stuck in all of the minutia in the business, whether it's trying to close that deal or whether it's dealing with that client that's upset or whether it's you know figuring out why the, the website didn't get built correctly, right? And so you have to put a leadership team in place. You have to put operational efficiency in place. And when it comes to scale, you know, some of my favorite books are Scaling Up, Traction, and The E-Myth Revisited. Um, but specifically the book Traction unpacks what they call EOS, the entrepreneur operating system. And for me and my agency, we run EOS and we teach seven figure agency members uh, of our program how to efficiently put EOS in place. Um, and on another video, I talked about the EOS model and all of the different aspects that EOS touches on from your vision to your data, your processes, traction, which is your meeting rhythm, um, issues list, and people, like right? putting that leadership team in place and having the right people in the right seats. Um, but today I wanna to talk specifically about the data component, which is the scorecard, right? And, and, and the way that Gino Wickman explains it in the book Traction and really the, the entrepreneur operating system, really the idea would be if you want your business to operate without you and you've got a leadership team that's running the business, if you were to leave to a to deserted island somewhere and be completely off the grid from the business, what would be the key data points that if all they did was say, hey, here's what's happening within the business today, here's five or six data points, you would know on track or off track and the business is moving in the right direction. And so that's what the data component is all about. That's what the scorecard is all about. Within your leadership team, you wanna have a scorecard where you can stay and that, that team member can know what are they accountable for, what are the metrics that they're managing and that they're, they're really trying to improve and, and everybody is moving forward in a positive direction on. And so that's that data component. We have all of ours on a spreadsheet and there's lots of different ways to track your scorecard. You could do this on Google Sheets, you could do this in um, you know, some of the different tools specifically made for tracking EOS within your business, uh, but we actually just have it on a, on a Google Sheet and the idea behind the scorecard is every week it gets updated before the level 10 meeting. And the level 10 meeting is when your leadership team comes together and there's a very specific agenda. Actually, I recorded a video about level 10 meetings recently, um, search level 10 meetings for agencies and I'm sure you'll find it. Um, but knowing that they're gonna report on this scorecard helps them focus on what they should be focused on. It also keeps you in pulse on what's going on. And so I wanna walk through some of the key things you would wanna have in your scorecard because this comes up often with our seven figure agency members. It's like, hey, but what do I put in the scorecard and what do we need to track on an ongoing basis? And so if you break it down by department, really usually, and you look at the scaled agency organizational chart, you've got marketing, sales, account management, and then you've got operations, right? And there's little departments within that. From a marketing perspective, what I like to see on my scorecard weekly and monthly to know if we're on track or off track is how many new opt-ins did we have? How many scheduled appointments do we have with prospects within our niche? What's our average cost per lead? And what's our average cost to acquire a customer, right? And whoever sits in that seat within marketing, maybe it's you, maybe it's a sales and business director, goes in and keys that information. And knowing that helps us say, man, are we getting enough strategy sessions? Did we spend enough on our marketing? Is our cost to acquire a customer way, way too high? Um, from a sales perspective, how many strategy sessions? What, what number of new clients did we actually close? What's our closing ratio 
and what new MRR, monthly recurring revenue, was generated, right? And for each one of these scorecard metrics, you also have a target. So every week they're plugging in, here's what the actual was, and automatically we wanna track against the target so that if we're off track, that would drop down to IDS, or identify, diagnose, and solve, or, or discuss and solve in the meeting later in that process. Account management, what we wanna track is, how many clients did we churn? What revenue was churned? So how much did we actually lose? What's our monthly retention rate? What percentage of the clients were actually touched or spoken with? And then what percentage of our clients are red, right? And I think for most agencies, if you just track these at a level 10 level, you know what's going on within business. Are we landing clients? Is our marketing machine working? Are we closing the deals? Is the sales engine working? And from an account management perspective, are we retaining the clients or do we have a churn issue? And you know, really you would probably want to have the level leaders within your process. And in our world, you know, we've got Google ads that we track, we've got operations that we track, we've got SEO that we track. Um, I don't want this video to turn into a two hour video, but if you want more details on how to structure your scorecard, you're gonna have a, a leadership level scorecard and then you're gonna have a departmental level scorecard. So ideally, as you roll out EOS and your, as your agency grows, there's gonna be a level 10 for your leaders, which is you and the leaders of each department, and then each department would have its own level 10. The Google Ads team would be meeting and looking at very specific scorecard metrics. The operations team would be meeting, the content team, the SEO team, and so you'd wanna have scorecards built for each of those, as well as a level 10 agenda that's being followed, that keeps your business in a constant state of momentum. Uh, hopefully this is helpful, and hopefully this opens your eyes to kind of the, the, the power of scorecards, some of the key metrics you would wanna track. If you have follow-up questions on that, let me know in the comments if maybe there's some very cool things that you track on a consistent basis within your agency. I'd love to hear that in the comments as well. And if you're kind of in this stage in your business where Either you're struggling to keep up with the work or you feel like you're taking one step forward and one step back uh, or you just don't have the freedom that you're after, you should probably be focused on how to scale the business, how to put the right people in place, how to build your systems and procedures, how to put the meeting rhythms and the data processes in place through EOS. Um, and I've got a great workbook that I'd like to share with you. You can access that by going to sevenfigureagency.com slash scale, and it helps you think through like the key roles, the key positions, and how to scale your agency. So again, that's at sevenfigureagency.com slash scale. So that's it for today. Hopefully you got some good insights here on um, what a scorecard is, how to implement a scorecard in your agency. If you have follow-up questions or thoughts, let me know. If this was useful and you'd like more videos on this topic, and really how to, how to set up the operational side of your agency, hit the like button and share this with another agency that could benefit. Uh, that's it for now. I look forward to talking with you again soon.